welcome in guys to yet another World of Warcraft video chan video on this channel, I can't even speak. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Today we are talking about some anima farming on Seraph Mortis. Now the reason that I'm making this video is because a lot of people are continuously asking, specifically for the mission table that we talk about a lot, saying, how do you farm the most anima? How do you get this? How do you get that when it comes to anima? And obviously we all need a lot of anima if we're trying to go for the mission table, but also for cosmetic rewards. And considering this is the last major patch of the expansion, a lot of people are finally starting to get into all the different covenants and trying to build up what they have. And that is why I want to make this video. Now, before we get into it, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and also drop a comment down below of what you think of Anima and why you like it or why you dislike it, okay? That's what I want to know. But anyway, let's get straight into it. So if you guys did not know, on Seraph Mortis, you can kill uh, every single rare over and over and over again. Now, obviously, on... Um, on EU servers throughout the day, especially in primetime hours, there are certain rares that you can search up on the LFG and you'll be able to continuously find groups for it, okay? And uh, what you do by that is you obviously go on here, you search up something like Festus, you can see there's a bunch of group, uh, groups from other Festus. Sometimes if Akaris is up, there's groups for Akaris. But I have heard a lot from my NA friends that you guys cannot do this. The other thing that I would recommend is searching up Seraph Mortis. Now, Seraph Mortis groups with farming elites. There's a lot of these now, and considering the fact that we all have flying at this point, uh, doing a group like this is actually going to be pretty good. It's not going to be as good as joining groups over and over and over again, because you can, without a doubt, make a lot more anima if you do that. Now, the reason that I want to talk to you guys about this today is... If you take one rare and you can consistently find groups to kill it over and over and over again, you can expect anywhere from five to 7,000 anima uh, hourly. If you have the proper uh, Covenant Sanctum upgrades, then you're obviously going to be on the higher end. If you don't, then you're going to be at a lower end. Um, and as you can see, we did some testing today on stream for how fast we could farm up some anima when it came to these uh, Seraph Mortis Elite groups, just to give you guys an idea. And what I was able to figure out is about every hour, you're going to be able to, uh, depending on the group, you're going to be able to get anywhere from 3,500 all the way up to 6,000. Um, I got, I got uh, 5,215 uh, for one hour. Uh, not Yeah, 15, that was the number. And um, obviously, that seems a little lower than the perma-killing, uh, but it is an alternative option, and it's still a very good way of perma-farming anima when it comes to Seraph Mortis. Now, obviously, along the way, you can kill the world boss, right? There's some other things that you can pick up. You can pick up treasures, uh, and if you have... It's very good to do it on a, on a character that you got skinning on, because that means you can skin some of the rares as well, and... Uh, if not skinning, then I would recommend, you know, having a character with mining and herbalism because then uh, as you go away or you wait for rares, you can pick up that along the way uh, to make yourself some more gold. Uh, but that is basically going to be everything that I have for this video. I basically wanted to show you guys uh, or at least talk to you guys about how good anima farming is on Seraph Mortis especially. Um, and I definitely recommend that you guys go out here. If you are interested in farming anima, because there is uh, nothing else that's better than this. Uh, you know, you could probably, it, it would probably be worth it to, to do the 500 anima world quest, right? The elite world quest or the uh, killing the world bosses here and there. But overall, I would just recommend uh, going to Seraph Mortis and perma killing rares. Um, and obviously, it's a good idea to pick up patterns within patterns as well. Your weekly quest, because then you can complete that uh, over, uh, you know. A couple hours which is a good addition as well along the way but that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and until the next one see you guys